Hello, Michel Juvet. Hello. An agreement seems to be close at hand between Greece and its creditors, and the events prove you right because a few months ago you said there would be an agreement, but all is not resolved. That's right, and it took a long time, but finally we're moving in the right direction in terms of uh, budget policy. Uh, Greece is going to raise r reasonably um, VAT on, on tourism business, um, and at the same time, they're going to reduce early retirement. So that's going in the right direction in terms of budget control. However, uh, on top of that, they're, they're thinking to add typical left-wing policies like uh, raising corporate taxes, which means that at the end of the day, in the next few months, growth, economic growth will not come back in, in Greece. And then we're moving back on a political problem because Mr. Tsipras probably will need the agreement of the opposition party to sign the agreement with the European Union. And then that means in the next few months, when the growth will not be back, um, it will lack a lot of support in terms of politics. So we, we're moving ahead in terms of new elections in Greece, probably. And they are not talking about restructuring the debt? No, because it's a very sensitive message. Uh, we cannot send a message whereby we say, let's forget about, about debt today, because we have other countries in Europe, Italy, Portugal, Spain, which are in this situation, and we, we don't want that. They imagine that we can Im erase it like that. So basically, Europe wasted six months. And the Greek citizens as well, because the situation is worse than six months ago. At the end of 2014, um, and Greece had a budget surplus, a primary budget surplus, and the banks were in good shape. They were able to lend money. Now, the banking system is down to earth, and we, we're back in a situation where we have to put this the same economic policy that we had six months ago. So we lost the time, and probably just to satisfy the ego of some Greek politicians. And the markets believe that there will be an agreement. They reacted very positively. What do you think about that? That is true, but uh, investors knew we had two issues this year. The first one was Greece. Uh, now it seems we're moving out of this Greek problem and, and investors can look at the reality, economic reality. And what do they see? They see that the economic growth is moving upwards. Probably the economic growth will be higher than 1.5% this year. And on the other side, they're seeing as well that the banking system is lending money. We're seeing the highest uh, lending growth towards the private sector since the financial crisis. This means that uh, corporations will make profits and stock markets like this situation. That is why investors are going back in the stock market and that is why these stock markets in Europe will go upwards. So what's the second stumbling block? Well, the second uh, problem is, uh, is related to the US situation. Um, the growth is back as well and we know that this fall um, the US central bank will have to raise interest rates. And this would be negative for the markets? It's positive and negative. Uh, it's going to be a sort of negative in the short term because it's going to be the first time that we have a, a, a rise in interest rates in the US since the financial crisis. And it's a big change for mentality. People have been used to see interest rate at zero and not moving. So it will change something and probably it will bring some turbulences in the stock market. But we're not going to see what we call a bear market because to see a bear market, we need to anticipate a recession. And to anticipate a recession, we should see a successive rise of interest rate, which is not the situation today. So what do you propose in terms of investments? Well, uh, we have to be positive, but we back in the same difficult situation whereby for balanced portfolio, when you have bonds and equities on the bond size, even after the rise of the yields, it's not high sufficiently to protect the portfolio if we have something bad going in the stock market. So if you want to have more revenues, you want to have more performance, you have to take a little bit more risk and you have to invest in stock markets and European stock markets. Um, and then when we know that so we're going to have some turbulences in the fall, we have summer before and then you have to enjoy your summer. We will. Thank you very much, Michel. Thank you. Thank you.